In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to delete Outlook folders. If you're someone who uses Outlook regularly, you know how quickly things can become cluttered. Deleting folders you no longer need can keep your mail organized and efficient. So let's dive right into it. First, you'll need to navigate to the Outlook login page. This is a good starting point as accessing your account lets you maneuver through the different options available in Outlook. If you're using Microsoft 365, you can find the login page easily from Microsoft's main website. Once there, click on the sign in button. It's typically located in a prominent position on the page. Once you click it, it will direct you to enter your credentials. That's your email and password. Ensure you're entering the correct details so you can smoothly access your mailbox. After successfully logging in, you'll land on the Outlook dashboard. For most users, this shows up as the mail section with all your recent emails on display. The layout might vary slightly depending on whether you're using the desktop app or the web version, but fundamentally they serve the same purpose. Now focus on the left sidebar where your folders are listed. This section contains all your main folders like inbox, sent items, drafts, along with any custom folders that you've created yourself. The next step is to locate the specific folder you wish to delete. You may need to scroll through this sidebar to find it if you've got quite a few folders lined up. Identifying the right folder is crucial. If you're unsure, take an extra moment to verify. Deleting a folder means you'll lose everything that's in it, so it's worth double checking. Once you've found the folder you're looking to delete, click on it to make sure you've selected it correctly. Right click on the folder name to bring up a range of options you can perform on this folder. In Outlook, this action unveils a series of commands, much like when you right click anywhere on your computer. This includes options to rename, move or delete the folder, among others, which leads perfectly into the next step. Go ahead and look for the three dot icon, which is a staple feature in modern applications to represent more settings or actions. Hover over and click on these three dots to summon a drop down menu. This menu is where you'll find the delete option nestled among other manageable actions. It's often placed as the last or second last option, so keep an eye out for it as it can sometimes be easy to overlook. Now click on the delete option. This step is as straightforward as it sounds. Depending on your Outlook settings, you may receive a confirmation message asking you to assure that you want to proceed with the deletion. This is a precautionary measure to prevent accidental deletions, so don't panic if you see such a pop-up. Just confirm you're certain about removing the folder. If you're not prompted, then your folder will be deleted immediately. Once you've executed the delete command, the folder should disappear from your sidebar list, effectively removing it from your mailbox. Bear in mind, if you've accidentally deleted the wrong folder, many mail services allow you to recover it, usually by accessing it through the deleted items or trash folder. Retrieval policies can vary though, so it's always safer to double check before deletion. And that's it, deleting an Outlook folder is as simple as these steps. Tidying up your mailbox not only keeps things clean and efficient, but makes navigating through mails and finding important messages so much more straightforward. I hope you found this guide useful and you're all set to manage your mailbox better going forward. Thanks for watching and happy organizing.